All right, welcome back everybody. This is Paul here with the Red Wing MS XR30CC build. This is part 7A. If you remember in the last part of the video, we installed the standoffs and the motor and we drilled holes for the throttle, the choke, the fuel, and we installed the fuel line and the fuel tanks. Now what I didn't include in the video was installing this switch here. I mean if you guys are building giant scale airplanes you should be able to install a switch. So what I also did while you were away was I just glued in the throttle servo mount and put the throttle servo there. I just kind of glued it halfway in there. Now to get my height, what I did is I've just taken a piece of push rod here, put it through the hole, and as you can see, it meets up very nicely right there, letting me know that that is at the correct height. So I've glued that in with some nice five minute epoxy. And what we're gonna do in this part is install the linkages. So hang on and we'll get right to that. Okay guys, we're back and we're gonna install our throttle linkage. Now there are a lot of ways to do this. Everybody's gonna argue their way is the best. This way is mine. I've done this in many gassers I've set up before. I am not saying by any means that this is the perfect way to do it. This is just the way this worked out okay for me. So I set my throttle servo at about half. Now the throttle arm up here, we're going to need it to be at about half in a minute. But first, here's our throttle linkage. Pull, pull wire. I know, you guys are going, no, no, you can't do that. Well, I beg to differ with you, you can do it. I have done it in the past, and I am doing it right now. If you uh, think that I'm doing this wrong, then certainly do it your own way. Now, I would not recommend this for a 72 megahertz installation. This is definitely for 2.4 gigahertz only. You don't want to be transmitting any type of electrical noise back to your receiver. And with 72 megahertz, this wire would definitely just act as an antenna. But with 2.4 gigahertz, you're relatively safe. So I've installed the wire here on the throttle control arm, and I've double looped it. Now I'm just going to crimp it. And then I'm going to cut off the excess portion of the wire. And now I will thread the wire through the hole from earlier. Okay. 
And I'm going to thread another piece of coupler sleeve on there. But first of all, we really don't need this much wire to be working with, so I'm going to cut some of it off. I'm going to cut it just about in half. Coupler sleeve. Thread it on. And now all I have to do is fish that up through the hole. Now the key here is getting your thorough geometry correct. We'll be right back. Okay, so you need something to hold your throttle at about half open. What I've done here is I've just taken a little plastic dongle off some electric doohickey and kind of wedged it in there at the half throttle mark. And it fell out. I'll be right back. Okay, I just used a little bit of blue tape to kind of hold everything in place there. Now, I just need to put that through there. And make sure everything is nice and tight. Now my radio is on while I'm doing this to hold the throttle servo in position. And loop it and crimp it. Remove the extra. And remove this tape that I have holding everything in place here. Remove the dongle. And Throttle closed. Throttle needs to be open a little bit more. And that can be done with a little radio magic. Open, close. Open, close, open, close, and that's all there is to it.